Today we are going to talk about effective learning using the Pomodoro technique. Have you ever studied or read something and have not been able to remember it the next day? Psychologists call this the forgetting curve. This forgetting curve refers to the rate at which information is forgotten after it is learnt. Research shows we forget approximately 50% of what we learn within an hour and an average of 70% within 24 hours. Research suggests that our natural ability to concentrate starts to decrease between 10 to 40 minutes. Say, if you were to study for two hours, you may remember the first 20 minutes and the end of the two-hour study period, but the space in between you will experience a dip in learning, which results in lost learning potential. One of the best ways to counteract this is to use the Pomodoro technique. This technique is based on the idea that the optimal time for a task is 25 minutes, followed by a 5-minute break. It works for reasons related to memory, specifically the effect of primacy and recency. The effect of primacy is that you're more likely to remember what you learn in the beginning of a learning session, a class, a presentation, or even a social interaction. The effect of recency is that you're likely to remember the last or more recent thing you learned. By taking breaks, you create more beginnings and endings, and you retain far more of what you're learning. To get the most out of the breaks, I suggest getting up during the five-minute break and not taking the break at the same spot or place that you were working. Also, after four Pomodoro cycles, take a longer break of 20 minutes. So start using the Pomodoro technique to improve your learning.